Many of us have not served in the armed forces, but we embrace the protection and freedoms made by those who have. We are walking miles in their shoes, and when they fall, we fall. But we get up, lace up, and move forward. There were five Texas women who read the book Lone Survivor by native Texan Marcus Luttrell that told the story of Operation Red Wings and his survival. And they were so moved by his tale um, that they wanted to do something to give back. They wanted to put combat boots on just as many Americans as there were active duty military serving. Boot campaign really got going once we started our photo campaign which was celebrity type people in combat boots. And so I think once that visual concept grabbed hold of people, they understood what we were trying to do, and that was inspire civilians to show gratitude. The boot campaign for me is, is personal. I spent 25 years on active duty in the Army, had multiple combat deployments to Iraq. I got to see up front and personal what this less than 1% do. And so now to be a part of an organization that I can be a part of the solution in helping them transition back, transition out, it's exactly where uh, I wanted to be in life is, is continuing to serve. In Iraq, I came home, I did a tour over there. It was OIF, 08, and then I was blown up from an IED. I came home walking, and then five months after coming home, from there I end up in a car wreck and then paralyzed, and then my wife was four months pregnant. My wife found the boot campaign, and once my journey started with that, I just fell in love with them. There's so many nonprofits out there who don't focus on the veteran so much, they focus on what they're doing, the person running it, and that's the opposite for the boot campaign. They are completely focused on the experience of how their life's gonna be changed in for the long run. And now I am going through the reboot process and it is life changing. When an individual comes to Boot Campaign for Assistance, the first thing we do is find out what they need. We do an initial screening and then based on the findings, we provide access to and funding for whatever treatment they need. Then we follow up with them to make sure it worked and find out what else they need. Our health and wellness program is a shock and awe on what was deemed as the big five impacting veterans. Post-traumatic stress, traumatic brain injury, chronic pain, uh, insomnia, sleep disturbances, and addiction or self-medication. The approach that we took is hit it with everything we know works. Everything that is, is working within the community, things people say work, do it. All at once, make it a one-stop shop. Don't just focus for six weeks trying one type of therapy that works for 60% of the community do all the different therapies that are working for 60% and hopefully uh, within that Venn diagram of the different treatments and protocols, we'll find what works for that person. We started here in the great state of Texas and we've done some phenomenal work here, um, but we really want to take it to a national scale. So while we're helping veterans from all over the country, we really need to grow the Patriot set outside of this state and get other Americans, other civilians who are unfamiliar with the service and sacrifice of the military community, we want to get them inspired um, so that they'll lace up their boots and join our cause.